here's something you might not have all the time. Roasted Piedmont pheasant, which I'm so excited about, Chef. Why pheasant? I decided, you know, Ashley Farms in Winston-Salem has a lot of variety of game birds. They had pheasant. I had never really worked with pheasant before. So I brought some in, tried it. Um, people freaked. I mean, they absolutely loved it. It's one of those things that I can't take off the menu at this point. Went out in the dining room one night and some guy just jumped up and goes, pheasant! <laughs> <laughs> and screams it, and that's pretty much, that's probably the best sign you could get yeah. that you have a keeper, right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. So what are we going to do with this pheasant? So first we're going to break it down, and we're going to brine it. All right. Um, before we break it down, let's get our brine going. Okay. We have a cup of salt, kosher salt. Kosher, okay. Yeah. A cup of raw sugar. Two cups of water. It's just a sprig of rosemary, some bay leaves. Bay leaves, okay. You just want to heat this until the sugar and salt are dissolved. Okay. Then we're going to add ice water to chill it. So our brine is going. Mm -hmm. We're going to break down this pheasant. First thing we do is take the wings off. Pheasant has a great flavor profile to it. It's somewhere in between chicken and duck. So we cut the, the first joint of the wing off. I cut some of the extra skin up from around the neck. Okay. And now we're just going to run the knife along the left side of the breastbone. And then just put your thumb in there and start peeling back and just follow the breastbone and cut. Boy, you make that look so easy. It's pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, for you. We do cooking classes here at the inn, and we do a lot of classes. Uh, stocks and sauces is one of our most popular. Yes, yes. So I've got the breast off, pop this thigh bone out. Beautiful. Cut it off right there. Bada bing, bada boom. How often do you teach the cooking classes here? Uh, just whenever people schedule them. It's part of a lodging package we do here. And oh, how So fun. you can come in, you can stay, pick a cooking class. So these are ready. Mm -hmm. And we'll leave these together. And then after they brine, we cut them in half. Okay. We're about ready. We're dissolved. We're going to add our ice water. And we'll throw these okay. right in here. Two hours. Okay. So our pheasant okay. has been brined for two hours. It's been rinsed in cold water. Patted dry with paper towels, and now it's ready to go. I'm also going to do a little, just a roasted uh, asparagus as a side dish to it. Okay. The sauce, very simple. A little bit of that Benton's bacon again. Yes. Some shallots, uh, veal stock, white wine, salt and pepper. We're going to put our pheasant in the pan, skin side down. Wonderful butter. Butter okay. and a little bit of oil. Okay. All right. Great, here you go. Why don't you take control of that? Okay. My I'm going to grab the asparagus. Make sure these don't burn up here. Okay. So I'm just tossing the asparagus and some, some of that roasted garlic oil. Mm -hmm. Is this enough or do you want me to? That's good for now. Okay. We're going to finish it later, but that's great. That okay. can go in the oven. All right. And this can go in the oven. So once the pheasant is in the oven, we'll let it go for about five to seven minutes and we'll flip it back on the skin side to really crisp it up right before we plate it. A lot of people, I think, overcook poultry because they think that you know, salmonella or whatever. There's only one way to properly quantify temperature, and that's a thermometer. I use it, I'm not ashamed. I've been cooking for 18 years and I use yeah. a thermometer all the time. So our pheasant's done. Oh, isn't that pretty? That's beautiful. Oh, yeah. oh love it. Great. So we'll take this over here. Okay. Wafting in the air. I like to throw the bacon in halfway when it's in the oven because it just gives me a head start on the sauce. Okay. And in the restaurant, we're doing this to order. It's fast, we gotta get it out. Right. And it saves me a few minutes. Throw our shallots in here. Okay. Thank you very much. We're sweating with shallots. Ooh, love that. Our wine. And then we're gonna add our veal stock. Oh, yes. We will use the pheasant stock as the base for the veal stock. Yes. Um, so it has a great pheasant flavor and then the veal bones, the young veal bones, are packed with collagen and lend great body to the sauce. Ah. Salt and pepper. And you just want to reduce this down until it's a good cons consistency. Okay. Yeah, we're going to add our lemon. So we're going to plate our pheasant All while the right. sauce is finishing up. How should we do it? We should just make it look nice, huh? You don't want to take the skin off this. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. That would be just no. a sin. So we're going to slice our pheasant. Mm -hmm. I like to leave a big piece of breast on the wing. It just makes for a nice presentation. Nice presentation, okay. 
But you can see it cooks up a little darker than chicken. Yes. But it is lighter than duck. That's a lot of bird to have it to is. eat, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so at the restaurant, you get, you get half of the pheasant. So you do get the leg and the breast. Okay, so it this is, is kind of a platter to, to presentation. Eat the whole meal. Yeah. This is just special for us. Right. Okay. You just need to come to the Mass Farm Inn and have this. Or roasted garlic asparagus. That's beautiful. And this is a little lemon zest with some uh, little baby rainbow shard very just to nice. kind of dress the plate. Very, very nice. There you go. And voila. Et voila. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. Get a shot. Jump All right, right in. I'm not shy. <laughs> It's chicken, doesn't it? That's awesome. Yeah. That's so wonderful. Yeah. This recipe is on our website, lifeinthecarolinas.com. Well, thank you Great. so much for thank sharing this so recipe with us. Yeah. And again, come to the Mass Farm Inn, Valley Cruces, North Carolina. They'd love to have you and they'd love to spoil you. <laughs>